This time on Bonafide Bus, we take you through our tiny closet. I show you the amount of space we have to work with, the clothes that we travel with, and how we organize them. I'm Sarah, and this is Eric. We love traveling and enjoying the great things the Earth has to offer. So a few months ago, we decided to pursue life on the road and capture our adventures along the way. Subscribe for a new video every other Wednesday, and thanks for coming with us. Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of Bonafide Bus. I have the whole bus to myself today and I just did laundry and it's been kind of rainy all morning so I figured this is a great opportunity to talk to you guys about something that's actually really important about living in a bus and that is your wardrobe. So today I'm going to go over the space that we're working with and everything we chose to bring with us and how we organize it. So let's dive in. Our lovely closet. Um, as you can see, it's in the middle of the bus. It's about two feet deep, six foot high, and then 16 inches wide. Um, down here, we each have a basket. One's Eric's and one is mine. Those are for like shorts and t-shirts. We have a shared hanging space. Um, this is my basket for underwear, socks, swimsuits, things like that. Um, a shared accessory space up top and then the closet spills into this cabinet a little bit where it holds all of Eric's underwear and socks. All right, shoes are a whole nother issue in themselves. I have one pair of hiking shoes in this basket and behind the basket Eric has dress shoes and I have my docks. Um, we originally designed this little cubby area to hold all of our shoes. Um, so I have a cubby and then he has a cubby as well, but we keep getting more shoes. So they kind of end up hiding in weird places. Um, and that's our shoe story. <laughs> oh, more shoes. This is how we organize both of our baskets. Um, if you have not already started folding your clothes like this, you need to, even if you have like a regular dresser and you don't live in a bus. Um, when you can see every article, it makes things so much easier and so much faster. Okay, for this next part, I'm gonna be taking out both of our baskets and laying them all out so you can see everything in them. And then after that, all of our hanging stuff. Let's get to it. But first, coffee. So these are all of Eric's clothes. He has five long sleeves slash um, kind of light sweatshirts and then a bulkier corduroy top, a pair of board shorts, two like lounge shorts, two nice shorts, sweatpants, two hiking pants, a thermal pant, um, and then another sweatpant and a lounge, and then an array of t-shirts. He also is on a trip, so he took board shorts with him, two other shorts, and then three t-shirts. These are all of my clothes. On the far right, I have like three sweaters and five long sleeve slash light sweatshirts. And then I have two skirts, five pairs of athletic shorts slash skirt, um, three short, <laughs> three pairs of shorts, um, one pair of nice like ankle length pants, my one nice pair of pants, two jeans, one hiking pant, two leggings, and then two pairs of sweatpants. I have 10 tank tops. Um, I really like having a lot of tank tops. They're good for layering and they get just so tiny, which is good for packing. And then I have 12 t-shirts, which are a mixture of like nice shirts and athletic shirts, and then just wearing around the house. 
speaking from personal experience, it's really good to have a lot of like neutral colors that can go with a lot of other colors and good things for layering, which is why I have so many little tank tops. Um, another thing that I think really goes a long way are having skirts. They fold really small. Um, they can look nice or casual. They just seem to go a long way. So after laying all of this out, it's become very clear that I have a lot more clothes than Eric does. Just for clarification, um, this is all the stuff that goes in the basket. The jeans and skirts I actually hang, and then all my little tank tops and like little running short things go in the other basket with all my undies and stuff, so don't come for me. Okay, now let's look at all of our hanging stuff. So these are all of my hanging clothes. I have a denim shirt and a vest for cold weather, two sweaters for cold weather, um, two sweatshirts, which are very similar, but my parents got me these and I love them. I have a little denim crop jacket and this flannel, another denim shirt, which was my grandma's. This was her painting shirt um, when she was alive, so I love it. It's falling apart, but I'm never getting rid of it. And then I have a long romper, a short romper, and then uh, like a nice dress that I would wear to fancy occasions. All of these items, when I have them hanging in the closet, I will layer. So I'll like put this denim jacket over this sweatshirt and this denim jacket over that, just so that they don't take up that much space. These are Eric's hanging clothes. He has a pair of nice khakis, a nice short sleeve and long sleeve, a fishing shirt, two sweatshirts, and then a heavy flannel. As for this basket, I'm not even gonna count everything in there because I have so much, um, so many bathing suits, bras, underwear, socks, so many. So let's just say I have unlimited. And then up top, I have this cute little cowgirl hat. We both have some beanies and then I have work shoes and shoved in the back are like scarves and little accessory pieces like that. So as you guys can see, we both have very decent sized wardrobes and that was just our clothes. It's not even including our full suits that we both wear and then our snowboard gear, which we keep up top. Those were just our regular daily clothes. Um, a lot of them we can't wear right now because we are in a warm climate. Half of our wardrobes are geared towards cold climates. So even though we don't use all of it all the time, we both have a well-rounded kind of closet that suits us. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. All right, you're telling me I gotta put all this away now. Yeesh.